What is up guys, Waffles here, and in the last video I asked you guys what you wanted to see on my channel. And uh, the most uh, voted thing that I should do was uh, make more tutorials, so I'm doing that right now. Uh, the second most voted thing was like uh, something, I don't remember, it was playing on servers with you guys, so I, I will do that more too. But uh, for right now, let's get into this tutorial, and this tutorial is on making a thumbnail. Um, let me just find an example here. So here is an example of the thumbnail uh, we will be making uh, in this tutorial. It looks like uh, really beautiful and there's nice soft shadows and stuff and the uh, text kind of um, looks beautiful and everything. But let's get into that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description, the first one. And there will be, uh, this is a link to Weedline's uh, forum and uh, basically uh, what he does is he makes models for Cinema 4D and rigs. So, what you're gonna do is you might want to download the model pack. In the model pack, you get all these blocks and you can uh, animate with them. Uh, in the item pack, you get loads of items. Uh, let me just show you here. Yeah, there you go. You get that in the item pack. Uh, in, the, um, in the mob pack, you get these mobs here. Uh, you can use them in uh, Cinema 4D. And the last thing, or maybe not, is it the last thing? Yes, it is too. You can get the free Steve rig, so you can animate your character. I showed you how to in, uh, install these in the first uh, tutorial I ever made, actually. Uh, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, if you get confused, just go watch that tutorial. I probably did it much better than this. But yeah, so what you do is you just uh, find the one you want, or maybe you want all of them, but in this case, just I say I want the model one, I'm just going to download it through Mediafire, and then I will show you what to do once you have downloaded it. Okay, so the download has finished, and uh, and uh, get rid of that, and uh, let's, let's see what to do with this. Okay, so basically, once you have the file, uh, it'll be in your downloads, but I just like dragging it to my desktop because uh, why not and then uh, I've already downloaded this before um, but uh, I'm just gonna do it again so uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download WinRAR which is the second link in the description and you're going to use it to extract here once you're on the desktop and you're going to extract it and then you'll get this whoa this just appeared magically and then you can delete the RAR pretty much but uh, you don't have to so, uh, download WinRAR, uh, extract that, and now you have this, pretty much. Uh, and now what you're going to do with this is you're going to open up a file browser, and you are going to find wherever you installed Cinema 4D. So it could be in your local disk, it could be under Program Files, um, under Maxon or Cinema 4D. Um, uh, yeah, it could be in this one too, but it, that's only if you have 64-bit. But mine is in documents. The folder will look like this. So just try and find this. Um, it's usually probably in your local disk. Except maybe not if you decided to put it somewhere else like I did. So once you open this up, uh, go into your library and uh, browser. And then as you can see, I've already installed it. But you just drag this in here. And then uh, you will have the model pack. But I don't want it again. So no, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, so now I have all these installed, but um, you don't have to have all of them. But it, it, it would just look a lot cooler if you had all of them, because you can have uh, a lot of stuff in your thumbnail. Okay, so now you're going to go into the third link in the description, where you can download this light studio, this lovely light studio that I will put in the description, and download this. And then, um, I did not make this, by the way, because I'm too much of a noob. But uh, download this, open it up, and you'll have... Uh oh wait, this might not be good. I might already have stuff in it. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm back. I fixed that. I got rid of all the stuff in it, and uh, now it's called Light Studio, because I changed the name. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is what it'll look like when you open it up. You'll have a camera and some lights, and you don't want to touch any of that. So now if you go into Window up here, uh, and Content Browser, you will notice that you have some stuff including mob pack, uh, model pack, if you got all these, which you probably did, because they're all awesome, made by Weedline, and uh, yeah, so all this stuff is up here. 
And uh, what you're gonna do first is you are going to um, add a floor, pretty much, and make it white. So uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this uh, because I showed all this in my uh, first tutorial, but I will just show you how to do it anyways. So uh, to add a new material, you can just go create new material down here. And uh, you just double click on this and you can edit the color and make it white and beautiful and all that. And then you can pretty much just drag it onto the floor and then the floor will become that color. Uh, now I'm just going to make another floor and rotate it 90 degrees in this part. Yeah, there we go. Rotate it 90 degrees down here um, and maybe slide it backwards a little bit. And make that white as well by dragging the white onto that. Okay, so now we have a beautiful um, kind of box, white, white thing. Uh, very slow, but um, now what we're gonna do is add some text. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this either because I have another tutorial on that in the description. Go check it out if you want to know how to make text, but I'm just gonna do that quickly now. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I have my text. I did everything uh, I showed you guys in the text tutorial, except I just kind of swapped the colors around and made the blue uh, more the front and the uh, white is the sides now. But that's fine, and uh, look at it. It looks pretty good, actually, I think. And um, yeah. So now what we are going to do... Oh, by the way, my font is uh, Toonish, in case uh, you wanted to know what font that was. So now what we're going to do is go up into our window and our content browser once again and we are going to go into our model pack or whatever or whatever you want actually kind of uh, maybe our rig. So uh, here have this rig and um, so now I have a rig. Let's make it a bit smaller because it's uh, very big and that's not a good thing. So scale it down and uh, so now we have a person in our thumbnail. Maybe slide him back a little bit. There we go put him to the side. Uh, you can uh, animate him if you like, do anything you want, um, but I'm not going to show that really in this tutorial because um, I've already showed that in previous tutorials. So yeah, let's just uh, make him in a fabulous position. Um, that is not fabulous. Uh, that is neither fabulous. Okay. Uh, Hi, he's waving, okay? There we go. Done. Um, so that's basically the person that we're gonna have. Now what I like to do is just throw random uh, other stuff in as well, uh, like uh, right now you can't actually read it, so I'm gonna maybe sit him on top of the text. Uh, like the, like so, there we go. Now he's like, hi. Um, so what you're gonna do uh, now, what I like to do is just throw in uh, lots of other stuff into my thumbnails like a pig because why not have a giant pig in your thumbnail maybe make him a bit smaller because that's kind of terrifying and uh, whoa he's still really big but um, maybe just have a pig in your thumbnail oh my gosh maybe just have a pig in your thumbnail and uh, why not right because pigs put him over here and uh, now what um, we are gonna do is maybe add some blocks as well. I like to do that. Makes it look very Minecrafty. If you're making a Minecraft thumbnail that is um, like uh, um, let's go for some not wool. Let's not go for wool. That's a bad idea. Let's go for some uh, natural stuff. So like dirt. Let's get some dirt. Let's get some ice. Uh, I don't know why I want ice but that's fine. Let's get some clay because let's go for the all the other uh, 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 Let's go for all the ugliest blocks. Okay, um, I'm not hating on clay. Oh, wait. Or dirt, for that matter. But whatever. Uh-oh. We're having problems. Okay. I have fixed it. 
Okay, so now we're just going to move these blocks and kind of scatter them uh, around the place and make it look great. So here we have a dirt block, might as well just sit that up here. We can scale them down if we want uh, just by uh, hitting T on our keyboard and uh, scaling them down. That looked really weird. Uh, don't do that. Um, uh, don't do that either. Uh, you can just scale them down by going uh, down here and putting them to whatever size you want. I'm going to maybe go half the size, so 50, uh, 50, uh oh, not a, not a thousand, no, 50, and uh, uh oh, uh oh, and 50. There we go. So now we have a smaller cube, and let's just sit that on top of the text, and the clay will maybe go 50, 50, 50 as well, because why not? And there we go. So. Uh, let's sit this there done let's have a look at our thumbnail and uh, the tutorial is almost done unfortunately because uh oh there is a giant ice block sitting in this text that's not a good thing 50 there we go okay uh, bring this forward a little bit stick it uh oh that ice block is massive. It can be halfway coming out of the ground. There we go, it's perfect. Uh, so let's have a look at our thumbnail. Uh, I will be back when it's done. So yeah, there you have it. A fabulous looking thumbnail. You can uh, mess around with how much text you want. It might look better if you move the text like up and stuff. Uh, but put it wherever you want. Maybe do two layers of text. It would look great, like my survival games uh, thumbnail. If you saw that at the start, that looked pretty good. And uh, just just mess around with these rigs and these blocks and these pigs and uh, chickens if you want that. Don't uh, m uh, remove the pigs' bodies from their faces and legs. It's not a good idea. Uh, put that back there. Pretty much good. Um, and yeah, I will uh, see you guys next video, which is coming out on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday for maybe a survival games, maybe something else. Uh, no one knows yet. Um, but I will see you next video and goodbye.